I've had a, a huge battle with this backyard. My wife knows about it. Frank knows about it, okay? Backyard one, Travis zero. I'm starting to win the game again um, with it. But what I really noticed is that the most important thing with whether these trees are going to grow or not depends upon the soil. If there's not good soil, that tree's just not going to grow. And the same thing is in your business. Your tree represents your business. Okay, the water represents the marketing. Okay, you are the soil to your business. You are the soil to your business. The root, that is your brand. Okay, when I bought the tree, they're like, listen, you can't just take out the tree, put it in the hole, and cover it with soil and water it. It won't grow. You got to take it out of the bucket. You got to hit the tree. You got to get that root. You got to get that root to expand so that way when it plants, its roots expand into the soil and grab so that way it can grow. Okay, the same thing is in your business. Your roots, your brand has to be down there. It has to be in nice soil. Okay, I can't, you can't just leave it there. I can't just expect Mother Nature to water this tree. I have to water it. Okay. Your root is the brand. The water is your marketing. But even with the best roots, even with the most water, the tree won't grow. The business won't grow. You are the soil to your business. Okay? The business only grows as much as you. The business can only be as good as you. Okay? That's why you must improve as a leader. That's why you must improve your influence. Okay, and that's why a lot of businesses fail is because the person isn't able to handle that. Their soil just isn't rich enough. Okay, so you are the soil to your business. Okay, you will always be the soil to your business. So if at any point in time you're struggling, the first thing you need to look at is what? The soil. Do I got good soil? How do I add more nutrients to the soil? Where am I getting this soil from? Where am I finding this soil? Okay? Can't just pick up and read a book. Can't just listen to a bunch of YouTube videos. Okay? All those, those are great. I want to not recommend those. Okay? But seriously, fuck your information. Seriously, fuck your information. All right? It's not about the information. Okay, it's your ability to take that potential power and your ability to use it. Okay, when people start comparing information, you don't get it. And that's probably why you're failing is because you're trying to compare the information. Okay, people don't work with you because what you know. No one cares what you know until what? They know you care. Until they know you care. Okay? And part of that is building the brand. Okay? Because your brand says all those things. Okay? So what is the soil? What makes up the soil? So there's three cornerstones, okay, to essentially building and having awesome soil. Okay? So let's talk about that for a second. The first part, so the three cornerstones, okay? These are the three cornerstones of your brand. Okay, the first one is connection. Okay, people got to connect to you. Okay, they have to connect to you. All right, there has to be some type of connection, okay? The second thing, through that connection, okay, you'll be able to build trust. And through the connection and trust, the third component...
is love. Okay, connection, trust, and love. Okay, they got to connect to you. They got to trust you. Okay, and most people go for like or no. Go for love. And I think we give up love for just being liked. Oh, I don't want to step on anyone's toes. I don't want to ruffle any feathers. I don't want to make anyone else feel bad. Okay, well, you already are by not doing those things. Okay, where are my single guys at? Raise your hand. All right, let's say you go on a date with a girl. Okay, you're determining if she's wifey material, right? You're at that point in your life, right? Not a spring chicken anymore, just wanting to go lay a bunch of eggs. We want to start getting serious, right? Yep, my man. Okay, so you go on a date with her. So let's say you connect with her. You really love this girl, okay, but you don't trust her. Is she wifey material? You really connect with her. You really love her, but there's something about that you just don't trust. Do you marry her? No? Okay. Let's say you go on a date with her. Okay. You really love this girl. You trust her, but there's something that you just don't connect with. There's a lot of things that you just don't connect with. Do you marry her? Okay. So we need all three, don't we? Okay, we need to build a connection with our people. We need to build trust. Okay, and then we need to build love. Love, not liked, not accepted, not okay. Love. Okay. Remember when we talked about the brands the other day? What are some of your favorite brands? Do you just like these? Are they okay? No, you're like, I love these brands. They're awesome. Okay, you want to wear their uniform, right? You want to put their logos on you. You want to represent. Okay, so you got to think of your business, same thing. So connection, all right, trust and love. And every single person in here has something about them that people can connect to. Not everything, okay? Every single person in here has something about them that they can trust. 